who hasn't heard of Jackie Chan. Jackie Chan, the humorous, affectionate, and most well-known Hong Kong film star, endured many years of long, arduous labor and multiple injuries to attain international fame after beginning his career in Hong Kong's chaotic martial arts film industry. On April 7, 1954, Jackie was born on Hong Kong's famed Victoria Peak. In the early 1960s, his parents, Charles and Lily Chan, emigrated to Canberra, Australia. Due to his poor academic record, Jackie's father sent him back to Hong Kong to enroll in the challenging China Drama Academy, one of the Peking Opera Schools. Chan excelled at acrobatics, singing, and martial arts, and he eventually joined the Seven Little Fortunes performing group, where he made lifelong friends with fellow martial artists slash actors Sammo Kambo Hung and Biao Yuan. Chan traveled back and forth to Canberra to see his parents and conduct business, but he ultimately made Hong Kong his permanent home. Chan began his film career in the early 1970s, appearing in supporting roles in two films starring the then-emerging martial arts superstar Bruce Lee, Fist of Fury, 1972, and The Chinese Connection, and the Warner Brothers release Enter the Dragon, 1973. Chan was regularly cast in films that capitalized on Bruce Lee's popularity by employing terms such as Fist, Fury, and Dragon in their U.S. release titles shortly after Lee's untimely death. Chan's film career was begun, and he immediately starred in numerous low-budget martial arts films produced at a dizzying pace by Hong Kong studios eager to satiate the martial arts cinema craze of the early 1970s. To Kill with Intrigue, 1977, Half a Loaf of Kung Fu, 1978, and Magnificent Bodyguards, 1978, were all somewhat successful at the movie cinemas. However, his breakthrough came with the 1978 hit Drunken Master, which has become a cult classic among martial arts cinema fans. Soon after, Chan made his directorial debut with The Young Master, 1980, and Enter the Dragon producer Robert Close persuaded Jackie to travel to the United States for a film designed to introduce Jackie to the rich American market. The 1980 film Battle Creek Brawl featured Jackie in a 1940s Texas Toughest Street Fighter competition, however, Jackie was displeased with the finished product and the film failed to appeal with U.S. audiences. In an effort to improve his popularity in the United States, Jackie was cast with Burt Reynolds, Roger Moore, and Dean Martin in the Hal Needham-directed car chase film The Cannonball Run, 1981. Chen and his renowned stunt team were unrivaled in their capacity to create the most spectacular war scenes and action sequences, and the decade that followed would feature their finest work. In Winners and Sinners, 1983, Project A, 1983, Kwai Kanche, 1984, also known as Wheels on Meals, My Lucky Stars, 1985, and Twinkle Twinkle Lucky Stars, 1985. As with previous attempts, Jackie believed that the U.S. director, in this case James Blickenhouse, did not understand his audience appeal, thus, the film garnered lukewarm reviews and underwhelming box office returns. Jackie chose to toughen up his on-screen demeanor, and his next film, Police Story, 1985, was a distinct departure from his previous humorous martial arts films, and his fans enjoyed the outcome. This was followed by The Raiders of the Lost Ark, 1981 inspired Armor of God, 1986, also known as the Armor of God, during the filming of which Jackie mistimed a leap from the wall to a tree in Yugoslavia, fracturing his skull. Jackie's film's project A Part 2, 1987, Police Story 2, 1988, Miracles, The Canton Godfather, 1989, also known as Mr. Canton and Lady Rose, Armor of God 2, Operation Condor, 1991, and Police Story 3, Super Top, 1992. 
Jackie wasted no time and immediately began filming the internationally successful film's first strike, 1996, also known as Police Story 4, Mr. Nice Guy, 1997, and Who Am I, 1998. Jackie then starred alongside the quick-witted comedian Chris Tucker in the action-slash-comedy Rush Hour, which was his most expensive U.S. picture, 1998. The film was more successful than Rumble in the Bronx and established Jackie as a true American celebrity. Jackie then worked with emerging talent Owen Wilson in Shanghai Noon, 2000, and its sequel, Shanghai Nights, 2003, reteamed with Tucker in Rush Hour 2, 2001, and featured in The Tuxedo, 2002, The Medallion, 2003, and The Humorous Around the World in 80 Days, 2005. With New Police Story, 2004, also known as New Police Story, and The Myth, 2005. Chan has long since emerged from the shadow of Bruce Lee, to whom he was regularly compared early in his career. Chan is one of the international film industry's true maverick actor slash director slash stuntman slash producer combinations, he has achieved his dreams and aspirations to become a global cinematic celebrity via perseverance. Off-screen, he has participated in a number of charitable endeavors that provide financial assistance to schools and institutions around the world. As a UNICEF Goodwill Ambassador, he has campaigned against animal abuse and pollution and assisted with the 2004 Indian Ocean tsunami relief efforts, 